Today I want to talk about the coming collapse of the camera rental market and what that could mean for filmmakers. So I bought this camera, the C200, uh, a year and a half ago um, for probably, I bought the body for 6,000. I probably spent another two or 3,000 on gear um, to go with it. And I looked on ShareGrid and KitSplit when I bought it, uh, or just after I bought it, because I was one of the first people to get it. And it was renting for about $500 a day. If you look now on ShareGrid, you can pick up a C200 with memory cards, batteries, and a tripod for like 250 bucks. Now that's a lot, that's like half. Um, the camera doesn't cost half of what it used to cost. It's just that there's so many more people with them and so many more people that want to rent them that it's driving the price down. I was talking to a producer last week that I work with a bunch. He was saying the client wants to shoot this project we're doing on the Ari Alexa. And I said, well, that's great. Everyone wants the Ari Alexa, but can everyone afford the Ari Alexa? It's like a thousand dollars a day. He said, oh no, I can get an Alexa mini package for $400 a day. At first, I didn't actually believe him. I had to go home and look at myself, but it's true. Um, you can get an Alexa mini package on ShareGrid for $400. That is a $55,000 um, camera package. That means that person has to rent that camera twice a week for three and a half years just to cover the costs of purchase, not the cost of interest, not the cost of meeting people twice a week checking the camera in, checking the camera out, insuring the camera. That is, that is a really tough financial proposition. But the reason is that now so many people have Alexa minis or other types of Alexas, they bought them thinking that they would be able to pay them off by renting them out. There was such oversupply for the demand that people started dropping their prices. And like I said, in the last 12 months, we've seen camera rental prices on the peer-to-peer -peer sites like ShareGrid and KitSplit um, cut in half. I don't know what that means, that a lot of people are going to be able, not going to be able to make the payments on their cameras or make the payments on their credit cards that they used to buy these cameras. Are they going to drop the prices even more? Are we going to see $100 a day Alexa packages? Or are we going to see a whole bunch of people trying to having to sell their cameras off because they're not able to meet the payments? Um, there could be like $10,000 Alexa minis on the market soon. You know, renting cameras is really hard on the camera, especially the peer-to-peer -peer things where you don't know if it's going up out on some student production or someone's going to attach it to their car. Yes, it's insured for um, major breakages. If they actually, the camera breaks, they have to pay for it before they return it. But, you know, a lot of rental just puts a lot of wear and tear on your camera. Like you start having... Um, brownouts or you start the camera starts not working on certain ports and certain means. I think about a year and a half ago we hit this critical mass of digital cinema cameras became so cheap that people could have more people could afford them. And so there's this huge um, a lot of people buying them thinking that they will be able to rent them out to pay them off. And as more and more people have done that, um, there's been so many out there for rent that people have had to drop their prices and now we're in sort of this like um, this race to the bottom, this kind of like death spiral of price, um, which is great. If you're an independent filmmaker, you're going to be able to get a hundred thousand dollars worth of gear for like $200 a day. And that's, that's like crazy economics. Um, but if you're a camera owner or thinking about buying a camera, um, this is really going to have a lot of effect on your life and on your livelihood. Love to hear what you guys think about this. Uh, leave your questions in the comments. Subscribe if you want to get more videos like this and I will see you next time.